Thank you for joining me for Thought for the Day on Friday the 17th of July. Uh, today we hear the next bit in the story of Joseph and his brothers. Uh, yesterday's story finished with Judah offering himself as a proxy or a substitute saying, uh, I'm prepared to take the punishment for uh, the crime of uh, stealing your cup. Uh, which uh, Benjamin seems to be guilty of. Actually, we know it's not Benjamin's fault. Joseph has planted it. But Judas says, punish me instead. I will take the punishment. And uh, Joseph responds with this amazing uh, act of forgiveness, or as I called it, uh, given the uh, title for today, God's Pardon. Uh, here's how uh, Genesis chapter 45 begins. Then Joseph could no longer control himself before all his attendants, and he cried out, Make everyone leave my presence. So there was no one with Joseph when he made himself known to his brothers, and he wept so loudly that the Egyptians heard him. Then Joseph said to his brothers, I am your brother Joseph, the one you sold into Egypt. And now do not be distressed. And do not be angry with yourselves for selling me here because it was to save lives that God sent me ahead of you. That last bit of Joseph's speech, God sending Joseph in order to save lives, is something we'll uh, think on a little bit more uh, tomorrow. But today we're just focusing on Joseph and his relationship with his brothers and the amazing way that he allows them to be reconciled to him despite everything mm -hmm. they've done. His brothers sold him into slavery, but that, that was an afterthought, if you remember. From the beginning of the story, what they'd really intended was to kill him. They threw him in a pit in the middle of the desert and left him there to die. He'd have been dead with uh, thirst in 24 hours, 48 hours. And then they said, oh no, it's all right, we'll, we'll sell him instead. But they still were never expecting to see him again. When those uh, traders took him away to Egypt, the brothers had every expectation that Joseph would be mistreated, as so many other slaves had. He wouldn't live very long. They certainly didn't expect to see him again. And the idea that he would end up being a, 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 in a position of authority, effectively the prime minister of Egypt, and that they would be the ones on their knees coming to him for food and then ultimately for forgiveness uh, for this uh, affair of the, uh, the stolen cup. That could never have crossed their minds. And Joseph is now in a position where he can do whatever he wants. He's the prime minister of Egypt. He could have them thrown in prison. He could have them killed. He could make sure that they uh, never go back to their father. He could do whatever he wants. And he says, I forgive you. The word forgiveness doesn't appear in the passage. The word pardon doesn't appear. But he says, oh, don't be distressed. Don't be distressed. And he makes it clear through his actions, uh, not just at this point of reconciliation, but for the rest of his life, he never exacts his revenge, revenge on them at all. And they carry on being nervous about that for the rest of their lives. They never can quite believe. It. How could anybody forgive us for doing such terrible things? Well, Joseph does. He forgives them. And that is the same kind of pardon that you and I receive. From God. There are some people who can just can't believe how much God forgives us. I say, how could God forgive? Just as Joseph's brothers did. But God does. We're told in the Bible that God's put our sins behind his back, a place that he's never going to be reminded of them. We're told that he separated our sins from us uh, as far as the east is from the west. When God looks on me, he doesn't think of my sin at all. God's pardon is total. That is the glorious truth of the gospel of Jesus Christ. Let me pray for us. Heavenly Father, we thank you that Joseph was so gracious and loving as to forgive his brothers. He pardoned them completely despite the enormity of their sin against him. And we thank you that that gives a little picture of your total pardon that you uh, extend to each of us through your son, Jesus Christ. Joseph's brothers couldn't believe it. Help us to believe it. Help us to know that you are the forgiving God and that the relationship we enjoy with you is perfect, not because we deserve that, but because Jesus has made it possible. We pray in his name. Amen. Amen. Thanks for joining me. One episode left in the story of Joseph. Join me tomorrow for that.